Life Fairy came and brought us this. The new Mora Spark. I have not opened this. Well, it's the Spark Companion, I think. Um, essentially the companion knife um, that has a little modification of fire still. But let's, uh, we're going to go ahead and open this thing. <laughs> that is funny. Needed this whole box to house this. One little item. Out comes all the parts. Okay, first off. Same, same sheath as always. I don't feel any difference between that and this sheath from the, from the yeah, Robust. Longer, of course, because the Companion is a longer knife. It's also thinner steel. It's a friction grip. I don't know if you can see in there or not, but on each side is a little thing, a little knot grooves that stick out, and they grab hold of the outside of this. And with my first companion and my second companion, uh, that fell apart. First off, yeah, that is a grippy rubber grip. That's like the... I'm not sure I like that window bit right there, though. That's, that's going to bug my finger, maybe. Um, yeah, that kind of grabs the hand. Why does it need to be there in the first place? Maybe so this thing doesn't rust. I don't know, but that... That just slides into here somehow. It goes down and you turn and it clicks into place. That feels chintzy. I don't like that. You see this? It's a tiny little lip there that grabs into this. I got the black color. It was $3 cheaper than the other colors and it pops into place. Now Said something about paracord. Boys, there ain't no paracord in here. Don't really care. I've got plenty of paracord. I can even wrap it in steel wire if I so choose, which I won't. The blade. Oh, that is grippy. That is grabby. Sharp. Does she shave, though? Oops, sorry. Dremel. Eh, if you're gonna shave with that, you'd have pretty gnarly razor burn, but it will pop the hair off a little bit. <sighs> Ew, gross, gross, gross. Okay, so it's stainless, grippy. The handle actually, I, I wear gloves a lot when I'm out and about, so it's not, not so bad, I don't think. Um, I do like to use the pummel to smack things, so that's not gonna work so good. As you can see on this one, I've I've already scuffed it up on this blade, and I've only used this out about once. This one too, a few few knocks in it. Not worried about that. I'll break this. I'm not 100% sure I'll break this, but and it goes pop. Yeah, that's that's uh, strange. It's thirty dollars. Thirty dollar blade. Um, what the heck? Hold up. Um, found a paracord. Rammed up in the sheath. Who would have thought? It's a small paracord. I wish it was colored. There we go. So, uh, what do I do with that? I guess tie it onto this thing. I feel like I'm gonna cut myself or knock on a bang on something with this when I'm undoing and fiddling with this thing. The jury's still out, obviously. All right, thank you for joining me again. I think we already covered that. Ah, get out of the sheath. So we're down about three months. I've had this thing, I've taken it out probably five, six times, and honestly, I'm not impressed. As you can see, I ditched the lanyard. I felt that it just got in the way. It didn't help hide the thing or anything, so it's gone. I got rid of it. Um, this thing is still a pain in the neck to get in and out. I do not like the way that attaches. Uh, it does pinch your hand. This thing's uncomfortable to grip. I've got probably a hundred scrapes on this thing, and it looks like I'm a third of the way through it already. I mean, if you're really like 
Get on your sparking. Maybe it'll last 3,000 sparks. I don't think so, but for me, I like to do one good spark and not have to worry about doing a thousand little tip sparks. But anyway, um, also I, in just using the sparker, if you can see it here, let me get it in there. I don't know if you can tell, but the blade is damaged right here. Yeah, I can even feel that with my thumb. It's just from using the sparker, and also up here on the tip. Um, if you if you like to spark your, if you like to use your your ferro rod up here on the tip, the steel will will get damaged. Um, can you see it there? I hope so. If it comes out well, right up here, uh, it's dented. It's literally if it almost chipped, and I can feel it. Yeah, you can even hear it. Anyway, so I don't know. I don't. I don't like it. I, if I were to do it again, I would pass. Uh, especially for thirty bucks, the way it's performed is not what I would expect. This is a twelve-dollar knife. It's the more robust. It's a better knife, much much better knife. And you can grind down the spine yourself, and then buy a, a pack of two of these ferrets for ten, twelve bucks, and they produce a much better spark. Obviously, I haven't done a good job of grinding that one, but not like this one. But again, doing that is damaging the blade, so I shouldn't do that. Another thing, stay there. You guys move. Uh, you could go with the $10 Camillus Walmart knife. Much better at sparking. Um, the steel is comparable, although I'm not damaging the spine by using a ferro rod. It's a bigger, bigger blade. It's a heavier knife. The handle's more comfortable, even though it's got this knob on there I hate, but the handle's more comfortable. I've only taken this out two or three times, um, more times at this, but honestly, I'm more I have more confidence in a $10 knife than I have in a $30 knife. Uh, that's gonna fall apart. It put it in also the lanyard, put a blue one on there, or an orange or red one, or something that you can easily find if you choose to get this. Honestly though, I would I would pass. I, if I were to do it again, I would pass. I would get this, I would get this, I would get a, a buck knife. This one is gonna have a much better spark. I mean, it's a $50 knife though, so if you're gonna stay around that $30 price point, go with a, a, I would go with the Buck Knife Selkirk, which I've also reviewed on my channel, or I would go with the um, Gerber Strong Arm or the Moro Robust, and then spend $10 and get a pack of two of these things, which are gonna last a heck of a lot longer than the little one in there. So, I honestly, I'm, I'm gonna say I'm disappointed. Um, I just lost a light bulb. <laughs> Even the light bulb agrees, this isn't a great knife. So yeah, I I don't know. I think there's work to be done. I think it'd be I think this could be handled a lot better. I think you could pass on these grooves, make the steel stronger, especially the spine. Maybe they just harden the edge and I don't think so. That sounds silly. If it were a bigger knife, that would make more sense, but yeah. Um and the lights back on. What the heck? So that's that's my Review. I, I was expecting a little bit more given that it is a Mora knife, but what can I say? Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you've got the carbon version, I'd like to see if, hear from you, see if it does this business with this scuffing up of the blade. Take it for what it's worth. I don't know. Not a fan. Not a fan. So, love you faces. See you on the next one.